Look, I genuinely don't know how it's possible that Trump still is able to, with a straight face, maintain this facade that not only the election was stolen from him, that he's the rightful winner, that he is going to become the president again. He's going to be sworn in on January 20th. And if you think that I'm joking, even individuals close to Donald Trump are still maintaining this. Not that, oh, well, he's going to maybe run in 2024. No, that he's going to be sworn in again on January 20th. Take a look at this Fox News clip with Laura Trump. Well, look, I still think that uh, the president will get four more years in office. I think it'll be the next four years because this thing is far from over. All right, you just but had I, certifications I think... today in Arizona, in Georgia, in Wisconsin. You heard well, Geraldo moments ago look, say, you know, it's time to accept the outcome of this. What what are you seeing or hearing out there that, that he is not? Well, those certifications are just procedural steps, and the reality is the Electoral College does not vote uh, in, in their states until December 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, Congress doesn't actually certify anything until the beginning of January, so we've got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> delusional. Utterly delusional. And if you're saying that at this point still, you are either dumb or disingenuous. But now it's getting even harder for this facade to be maintained, for this grift to keep going, because the last loyal soldier has surrendered. That is Will Barr. And I'll admit that having that large of an image of him, like that close to me, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But nonetheless, what shouldn't be significant actually is significant, because he is now even saying there's no evidence of voter fraud. Sorry, but uh, facts are facts. So as Jessica Corbett of Common Dreams reports, sparking immediate and widespread speculation that he will soon become just the latest top official ousted for publicly countering President Donald Trump, U.S. Attorney General William Barr on Tuesday told the Associated Press that the Justice Department has not found any evidence of voter fraud that would impact the result of the 2020 presidential election. To date, we have not seen fraud on a scale that could have affected a different outcome in the election, Barr said of the November 3rd contest in which President elect Joe Biden's decisive victory denied Trump a second term. In the wake of his defeat, the president and his campaign have made unfounded fraud claims and filed numerous lawsuits even as states have certified their results. Barr, who had boosted Trump's baseless attacks on the security of voting by mail ahead of the election and amid a pandemic, was set to attend a previously scheduled meeting at the White House later Tuesday. The attorney general told the AP that U.S. attorneys and FBI agents have been investigating complaints related to the election which saw a record-setting early and absentee voting. Most claims of fraud are very particularized to a particular set of circumstances or actors or conduct. They are not systematic allegations and those have been run down. They are being run down, Barr said. Some have been broad and potentially cover a few thousand votes. They have been followed up on. Giuliani and Jenna Ellis, a Trump campaign senior legal advisor and attorney for the president, issued a joint statement Tuesday responding to Barr's remarks, doubling down on their fraud allegations and saying that with all due respect to the attorney general, there has hasn't been any semblance of a Department of Justice investigation, vowing to charge ahead with their mission of, quote, ensuring that every legal vote is counted and every illegal vote is not, Giuliani and Ellis added that again, with the greatest respect to the Attorney General, his opinion appears to be without any knowledge or investigation of the substantial irregularities and evidence of systemic fraud. Wow, so they are still going along with this fraud that there is fraud. And it's just, it's honestly almost impressive at this point that they're still saying this. Oh, well, I'm sorry, with all due respect to the Attorney General, you just don't have the knowledge that we have. All right, well, why don't you enlighten us, present us with the knowledge that we all lack that you have? We're not privy to what you're privy to, so why don't you show us the evidence? Oh, wait, you can't do that. You've had numerous attempts to do that, and you have nothing, because voter fraud is not an issue. It did not tip the scales against Donald Trump. Voter fraud is statistically insignificant with a rate of 0.0025%. That's not enough to tip an election. And even if the fraud rate was higher, Joe Biden won enough states to where he still is the rightful winner. And for you to deny that at this point, it shows how fucking stupid you are. And I just, I honestly feel bad kind of for them but not really because it's like you can tell that they don't believe what they're saying like when you listen to jenna ellis in any interview that she's been on she doesn't believe what she's saying there's no way like she has a bunch of tweets that i don't know if they're still up but she was clowning on donald trump saying how stupid he was and now she's very clearly acting for whatever reason because she wants to 
boost your career. But I mean, there's there's no basis in reality. Like these folks are delusional, and it's just it's shocking how they don't have any dignity whatsoever. Like they don't even care how shameless they look. You have these press conferences with uh, Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani where he has black liquid seeping out of his brain Amazing. and you have Sidney Powell claiming that Venezuela is, you know, in control of the Dominion voting systems and whatnot. You have memes spreading misinformation going online that the tagline of Dominion is changing the way people vote, which is not their tagline. It just makes it seem nefarious. You have Donald Trump sitting at this tiny desk, lashing at it, reporters saying, don't ever talk to the president that way. Like, what are, what are we watching here? It's like a parody of American politics. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it, it's, you know, you'd think that we'd be desensitized to all of this, having lived through multiple years of a Trump presidency, but like he continues to amaze me in, in the most embarrassing uh, way imaginable. I just, I don't know how long they're going to continue this, perhaps, you know, on the 14th when it's official and the Electoral College uh, confirms that Joe Biden is the winner, maybe then. I just, it seems like they're not going to stop regardless of how cornered they are. Like, they're going to keep going with it. And it's just, it's honestly impressive in a weird way, I have to say, because it's like, holy shit. I mean, Jesus Christ, you are like, it, it doesn't even matter. You're still going with this. I, I don't, there's not an appropriate analogy to compare this to. It's just mind-blowing, honestly. So, yeah, Bill Barr is now, um, he's <laughs> he's going to be hated in MAGA circles. And I, I'm really curious to see how Trump will respond. Uh, I'm interested in watching the fallout. Look, folks, grab the popcorn because there's no way that Trump can actually steal the election at this point. Too many states have certified. It's over and he's out. So we don't have to worry any longer. But now we can watch and just be entertained by what is uh, very clearly a fucking uh, clown show that we are witnessing. Tremendous, 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 tremendous